Next, let's look at the regression sum of squares. This is the square difference between the predicted values of y, so our y hats, and the mean value of y, y bar. So these are deviations of the regression line from the mean, and they represent the explained portion, the explained portion of the variability in y. So this is the variability in y that is explained by the regression line. So in this case, we are calculating for each value of, uh, for each sampled point, we're going to calculate the difference between the model estimate at that location, so that's our y hat i, minus the mean of y. So we're looking at this distance, and this distance, this distance over here for that. So this is the, dis the difference between the mean and the estimated point. This, these ones go to the mean and the estimated point. So it's the difference between the regression line and the mean. Finally, we have the residual sum of squares. This is the sum of squared differences between the observed, the yi, and the predicted, the y hat. This is the same thing that we were calling earlier, just RSS equals the sum of ei squared. It's the sum of the squared residuals. This is, this quantity of res ss is the variability in y that's not explained by the regression line. It's the amount of variance left over after accounting for the regression line. So in this case, it's the difference between the regression line and the observed values. We're going to square these differences and add them all together to get the res ss, the residual sum of squares. Now, the total sum of squares is equal to the sum of the regression sum of squares plus the residual sum of squares. So in other words, the total variance of our dependent variable y can be partitioned into variance that's explained by our model and variance that's unexplained by the model. And obviously, if more of the variance is being explained by the model, then our regression model is doing a better job. If more of the variance is unexplained or is left unexplained by our model, then maybe our model isn't a good fitting model.